Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're doing a lip swatch video for all the new metallic lipsticks from MAC. These will retail for $17 each and they will be available online and in store from March 23rd to May 4th which means these are not permanent. They will be limited edition. So if you see shades that you like, better snag them before May 4th. I'm swatching these lipsticks on completely bare lips, no lip liner, no other lipstick or anything like that. But I do think these would be cool to either mix together or layer over top of other lip colors. But today you're just gonna see them over plain old bare lips. There are 18 shades. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. This shade is called Pearly One and it's described as a confettied white frost. This is Silver Spoon and it's described as a multi-dimensional silver and I kind of feel like a sexy tin man when I'm wearing it. Next we have In Lust and it's described as a light, warm, neutral metallic. This one's called Digging for Gold and it's described as a light brown with gold glitter. Next up is Pale Rose and this one is described as a cool muted neutral pink. This shade is devotional and it's described as a metallic purplish brown. This one's really cool because it has kind of like a bluish duochrome effect. So this one would be really fun to pair with other lip colors. Next up we have Modern Midas and this is a muted gold with pink and green duo pearl. I think this does look more impressive on the lips than it does in a swatch. This just something about it on the lips looks a lot prettier than the swatch in my opinion. This shade is called Jupiter and it's described as a bronzed neutral. I have a feeling that this is going to be a favorite for a lot of people and I bet this is one of the shades that sells out really quickly. It's so pretty. Next we have Cold Front and this is a frosted periwinkle blue.
This one is Foiled Rose and it's described as a brightened blue pink. This is Disobedient and it is a deep burgundy red wine. This one's called Hades Fire and it's described as a cool red burgundy. This is one of the most glittery shades in the line of all of them when you're applying this one. As you swipe it on you can kind of like feel the glitter. In general, even though all of them are pretty glittery, this is the one that you can kind of like feel the grit of the glitter. But I mean, it's some pretty glitter though, you know what I'm saying? Next up we have the shade Act So Cool and this one is a deepened brown with gold metal pearl. We're getting into some really bold shades now. This one's called Nightly Ritual and it is a blackened navy. Next up we have Royal Hour and this is a deep royal purple with blue pearl. This one's called Zero Cool and it's a metallized emerald green. This is another one I think is going to be really popular from the line. It's called Anything Once and it's a blackened blue with multicolored pearl. We made it to the very last shade. This one's called Metalhead and it's a blackened purple with multicolored pearl. It does seem to have a predominantly red shift to me, but check out the swatch and you decide. Now I just want to give you kind of a final rundown on this product as well as tell you which ones my favorites are. This is not a matte finish lipstick. It's not going to be super long wearing so it is the kind of thing that you will have to touch up throughout the day or night whenever you're wearing this. So keep that in mind. These aren't incredibly long wearing. They're not incredibly opaque which is nice because you can pair them with other lip colors to kind of transform your other lipsticks. And if you're interested in seeing a video with that, like a everyday wearable tutorial using these metallic lipsticks, then leave me a comment and let me know. That's something I would really like to try out. Also keep in mind the majority of these shades are quite glittery. 
So when you're removing them, there is a lot of kind of leftover glitter and it can be somewhat difficult to remove. Although if I just went after it with a makeup wipe, it was no big deal. As far as my favorite picks go, I do tend to like the more kind of toned down shades just because that's what I'm more likely to wear. So my favorites are Digging for Gold and Pale Rose for like an everyday look. I also really like Devotional and Jupiter. I think these are two shades that are gonna go really quickly. And from the more bold lip colors, I like the shade Disobedient and also the one that I'm wearing now, it's called Metalhead. It's just something so different for me and I just, I love it, it's so fun. So I wanna know which shades are on your wish list, which ones are your favorites. Leave a comment and let us know. And if you pick any of these up, let me know how you like them. I'm really excited to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for spending time with me and watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye. As usual, I always... <sighs> what? What's it called? Neutral. <laughs> Wait, how, why can't I remember? Metallic purplish brown. Do I look mad? I'm trying to look sultry, not mad. Do I look sultry or mad? You tell me. I just have glitter all over my face. That's good. Mm -hmm. This one. <coughs> Mm, there's dog hair stuck to my lipstick. Glamorous. Hashtag glamorous life. I have lost control of these lip swatches. 18 shades is a lot to swatch. It's a lot. Like if you're if you're a Slytherin, you need this one. Crap. Black and blue with multicolored purple. Black and blue, why you gotta give me such a long description? I can't remember that. Thank you so much for something.